I'm Kim and JT. Um, today on the vlog, something that is really affecting the sport of mixed martial arts lately, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Oh man, I would like to talk about what is the difference between the series and the books. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of spoilers, spoilers. in this Spoilers. If okay. you haven't seen the latest season of Game of Thrones, stop. Or right read now. the books. Read the book. books. Okay, so here we go. Alright. Let's go over my list of things I'm confused and perplexed. And I'll even give you some of my insights that I believe is going to happen. I might be Whoa. wrong. And if I hope George R. 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 Martins isn't watching this vlog right now. And help him, I'm going to help write this last book. Uh -huh. These last two books or whatever. Okay, so first of all, one thing that really grinds my gears. I like the hound. Okay, and in the book, the hound dies, right? But he dies like, you know, he's almost like kind of becoming a good guy. You know what I mean? He's like, he's uh, helping out Arya and stuff, and he gets killed by some bandits. But he he kills him, but he then he yeah, dies later. Yeah. And but in the the series, what's that girl's name again? What's her name? Arya. No, no uh, uh, the, um, Brienne of Tarth. Brienne of Tarth. Oh my, dude, somebody just loves Brienne of Tarth that makes this show because they got her doing all kinds of stuff that she does not do in the book. Drives me crazy. She's the most boring character in the book. It's just like, oh, she's walking down the road. Oh, she's walking down the road some more. Okay, I get it. I'm bored. It's like, but it's the, like the Lord of the Rings. Walking, walking. Right. Or walking. Now, they're like, let's have Brienne kill the hound. Drives me crazy. And then, if that wasn't enough, they were like, man, dude, that Brienne, she needs to do some more big things. Let's have her kill Stannis Baratheon. <laughs> what? She wasn't even in this war. My, here's, okay. They have this giant battle in this yeah. war scene. And then all of a sudden, everyone's dead. There's, there's nobody left except Stannis Baratheon. How did that happen? How did he just become the only guy alive over here? But then Brienne Tarth, Brienne of Tarth comes over and kills him. I just can't. Dragons? Yeah, I can, I can wrap my brain about <laughs> there being dragons. I'm like, okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, some fire god that just makes demons and demons fight for him and shit? Okay. Giant I, wolves? Giant wolves? I can, I can believe all that. Brienne of Tarth killing fire the Hound chick. and Stannis? Stupid. Too, too far. Did it take you out? Did, it really did. did. I mean, I, <laughs> you were like, I'm, I'm I was done. mad. I was like, I'm like, oh. everything else, I'm fine. But this is it because she's a female knight? No, it's just no. she's boring and stupid. Boring she had a stupid. better personality. I would, I could even get behind. Number her, maybe. one thing, I don't know. I would never be around her because if you're around her, you're gonna die. Everyone yeah. she's been around, like Catelyn Stark and uh, the, the the brother Baratheon, who was killed by his brother, which I'm like, that's kind of messed up. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. You just said something that reminded me of something else that I just forgot about. Also, what what is it? Where's Caitlyn Stark at? Okay, in the books, she's coming back, dude. Like she's dead, but she comes back. She's like because she was killed at the red wedding. Yeah, right. She was she was yeah. killed at the red wedding. But then she comes back from that fire god that like, gets in her. You know, they they had like this little tiny mention in the the series. Remember there was that night that he kept dying, but he kept coming back yeah. because the Lord of Light was in him? Yeah. Well, he ends up dying in the books because the Lord of Light jumps into her. I don't remember what they called her, but she's like leading armies and killing people. Well, the, yeah, they, they call sounds her like, awesome. the, like Shadow Lady or something. something yeah, something. Yeah, they're like, but it ends up being a reincarnated Catelyn Stark. Yeah. Who doesn't she, spoiler, I don't know why I'm saying spoiler, we already said It's spoilers. all spoilers. She yeah. kills Brienne, doesn't she? For not... No, I don't think. No, Brienne's still alive. Is she okay? In the books, yeah. Okay. She's alive, being boring, walking around, doing nothing. Just being boring. Okay. What else about this oh, one? What about Jon Snow? Snow? Jon Snow. Let's talk about Jon Snow. Okay. So a lot of people probably have read that um, internet thing where they're like, Jon Snow. A lot of people believe is actually the half Targaryen, half Stark offspring of um, you know that guy that kidnapped you know uh, 
Dang, it's been so many. His sister. Yeah, the yeah, sister the of uh, Eddard, never, Eddard Stark. Yeah, yeah. Eddard, Eddard Stark. So, and that's why he said it was his bastard son, because otherwise, you know. But he was King an Robert honorable man. He would yeah. never do that. Exactly. Because King Robert would have had to kill him. You know what I mean? Because he was half uh, Targaryen. Targaryen. Because he had had a number of illegitimate children. We're not going to call them what they call them. We're not going to call them bastards. So, so right. then, so, you know, our theory, a lot of people, was that he was going to end up, you know, taking over. Well, then he gets killed. And now he gets killed in both the book and in the series. Now, you ready? You ready for this craziness? Here's what I believe. In the book, you guys remember that guy that jumped into the animals? And I might be crazy wrong, but this is just... A warg? Yeah, the warg. warg. The warg, yeah. Warg. So, the warg, right? He could jump into eagles, and he could jump into dogs and wolves and saber cats and stuff. So, he, he dies in the book. This guy dies, but he jumps into a wolf. Or I think it was a wolf. It was a wolf or a dog or something. And then it talked about how he, he could no longer jump out of anything. When he died, he jumped into that. And he would eventually become that animal. And I was like, in the book, Ghost, that, that wolf, is locked up. And also, like, they don't even really touch on it in the, in the show. But all of the Stark children, like, jump into their wolves. You know, yeah. sometimes, you know they hint at that. So I wonder if he doesn't jump into that wolf. Yeah. Can I have one? Yeah, go ahead. Him being the Night Watch commander, letting all the northerners in, mm -hmm. all the barbarian people. Right. And he gets <clears throat> he gets murdered. Well, it says till his watch ends, till he dies. Right. He technically did die. Yeah. So once he dies, he can leave with the Red Woman who brings him back. And then he's free to do whatever. Like, I don't know, maybe get an army and take the south. Right. Or join up with whoever. Or lead the, the northerners or right, ab yeah. above the wall. Well, that's a good one. I, I, well, I will say this. On the series. It's all about technicality. On the series, the TV show, I guarantee that's what's going to happen. For sure. Because I know that he comes back. You know what I mean? And, yeah. Um, in body form and everything. Yeah. I'll just say though the book and the and the TV show, they're they went this way. I mean yeah. they're not. Yeah. I don't. We could we could be looking at two completely different tales more well, by the, the time it's all. The, over. It's almost like they're like almost two different universes. Like exactly. uh, if you want to read the book, stay in this universe. If you want to be the show and be like you know go over here.